shall be given to him and the key of David and the government on his shoulder and doors and politics will open to him doors and media journalism Man. Now, what in the tomfoolery is going on here? It seems that this so-called apostle has spoken this word over Marcus Rogers. Not only that, but he used two verses that actually pertain to Jesus Christ. One in the book of Isaiah and the other in the book of Revelation. Come take a ride with your boy. Isaiah 9 and 6 says, For a child will be born for us, a son will be given to us, and the government will be on his shoulders. He will be named Mighty Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. I didn't know that verse was about Marcus Rogers. I could have swore that was Isaiah uh, prophesying about the coming Messiah. But hey, what do I know, right? But let's hit to the next scripture. Revelation 3 and 7 says, write to the angel of the church in Philadelphia that says the holy one, the true one, the one who has the key of David, who opens and no one will close and who closes and no one opens. I wonder is Revelation 3 and 7 about Marcus. Let's see. Jesus also identifies himself in verse 7 as the one who has the key of David. You don't say. The mention of David puts this verse in a messianic context, I guess. Marcus is like the second coming of Jesus. I don't know, right? Someday Jesus will exercise his authority to allow saved individuals, both born again Gentiles and saved Jews, to enter his earthly kingdom. Uh, also, he will use the key to lock out all unbelievers because Jesus is the son of David. He has the uh, indisputable right to the royal line as Israel's promised king. He will rule the nations from the throne of Israel. See, Marcus thought you were slick. Everybody been on your case. Everybody been on your neck. Everybody been applying that pressure. So you need a so-called apostle to affirm you. Not only that, but he said your voice. He said your voice, Marcus, will shake the heavens and the earth. I didn't know you was God. I didn't know you were the Messiah. I'm on your neck, Marcus. And I'm going to drill you in your chest every time. You need to repent, my dude. And that false apostle... Jonathan Ferguson, he needs to repent. The fact that he used those two scriptures about Jesus and made them about you just shows how dangerous you are to the flock. 